Who would win in the octagon, Sarah Palin or Hillary Clinton? Who cares? Can you this? Hi, how are you? Good, you? Yes, good. Yes. His name is Seth Moon, all in Canada. Good. I'll shake his hand first. What's up, man? What's up, man? You still alive? Yeah. <laughs> So, you got that ugly son of a bitch when he's still? <laughs> Always, man. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> really nervous. <laughs> test, 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 test. Yeah. Don't, don't steal my footage. <laughs> Let's get this out before he does. George is in fighting in front of his home hometown, his home fans. And uh, the pressure's on him. You know, uh, I have no pressure. I'm coming out and I'm going to have some fun like I always do. And uh, I can guarantee you that uh, I'm ready to fight for 25 minutes if, if I have to. Koshchev's a dick. Let's just face it. I mean, the guy's a dick. He's not a bad guy. He's just a dick. And there's a big difference. Just got one more for George. Uh, I would like to just say I'm a prick, not a dick. <laughs> so let's, let's not use that. <laughs> I've never been so excited for a fight of my life. And tonight is happening right here in Montreal. And I'm ready to kick his ass. I'm not in this sport to be the good guy. I'm here to win titles. And tonight, I'm coming for George's title. A UFC record crowd of over 23,000. The love that they have for this man, and not just in Canada, all over the world. He's a true martial artist, but Josh Koscheck is a man on a mission. He's got knockout power in his hands, and he's one of the best wrestlers in mixed martial arts. Weigh-ins very intense 24 hours ago. Look at the intensity. George stepped up to Josh and put his fist in his face. Earlier tonight, the arrival of the French-Canadian welterweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. Also arriving here earlier tonight at Bell Center, the challenger, Josh Koscheck. I fought Koshek before. I know his strength, I know his weaknesses. George St. Pierre's gonna see a different fighter. The old Josh Koscheck, he didn't know anything about fighting. This Josh Koscheck, he's coming to hurt people. I don't like losing to nobody, okay? Especially a French guy. He's got everybody fooled out there, thinking that he's the class act, you know, walks on water. He's not gonna be walking on water. Hit you right here. No problem, we'll see you. Right on there. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. He got under my skin, that, that, which is a good thing. Oh! This guy can't beat me, there's no way. I'm gonna knock your ass out. Yeah, that's right, Montreal. How about that? The champion 29, the challenger 33, GSP, will have a three-inch reach advantage. It's time! Fighting out of Fresno, California, Presenting the challenger, Josh Koscheck! George Rush St. Pierre! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Gotta keep it clean. Touch it up, make it official. And what's interesting is that Josh Koscheck has said that what he wants to do is keep this fight up. Let's see if that's the case. Not long. Koscheck wall walking. One, one, two, and a big jab again. And Josh is pressing forward, and as he does, George gets him again. Koscheck avoids that time. There's the big swing. Oh, he tagged him. Got him with that second jab big time, Joe. Can he stuff it? Yes. He stuffed it, and George eats a knee. It's from those jabs of George St. Pierre. Yeah, that's a stiff jab. Oh, and, and again, again, it catches him. Inside leg kick again, and jab. Too quick so far, Joe. St. Pierre Stiff literally jabs all and over and the Josh world. Josh is blinking now. His eyes are watering. It's landing on his nose. Now it's Koscheck thinking about a takedown. George stuffs it. St. Pierre 
Josh is trying very hard for this takedown. Still able to avoid. Does he get it? Yes. They're eating him up with that jab, baby. Excellent. Beautiful. Listen, all the way out, all the way in, okay? This is why Josh Koscheck's eye is swollen. It's the crisp technical striking of George St. Pierre. That snapping jab. Superman jab. Now George is teeing off on him, Mike. He's putting a lot more pop into these shots. He landed that jab again hard, right on that swollen eye. He threw Coming a kick to the body. Check. Hard kick to the body by George. Caught him again. Hand. The hip that snapped right back. Him. That one wobbled him. And they'll try to press. Oh, he landed Good an combination by Josh Koscheck. He landed a hard uppercut, Mike. You're waiting way too much. You gotta come at him and put two, three, two together, all right? Put them together. You gotta keep that hand, you gotta keep that right up, and you gotta let him go. And right out looking to establish the jab as the champion. He nailed him with that right hand. Again with the inside leg kick, and he comes up high. You know, George's strikes, one of, the, one of the things that's so good about him is the same reason why he's such a good takedown artist. It's his ability to cover distance so quickly. Trying to get control here. But GSP able to win on the feet. There's the jab. Cost check and St. Pierre tie up one more time. Don't hold the gloves. Man, not even close. Not even close. He's opening up now. Kick at the end of the round by GSP. Circle and jab. You need to make sure you keep your hands up. Circle and jab. You understand me? The Superman jab over and over again, finding Josh Koscheck's face. Huh? You cannot see him the right. Get that Chris Kringle dude out of there. He's fine. Hey. Oh no, get out of there, dude. Herb Dean. Yeah. Herb Dean knows what's up. Yep. You got that right. Get out of there, Chris Kringle. There he goes. Big takedown by He's GSP. Got He's, He's got, got his back. Koscheck. Trying to stay out of trouble here. St. Pierre with a tremendous pace here in this grappling contest. Knee. He need him in that eye. Clipped him with the left. Nice counter left hook. Pushed aside. Oh, there's the hook you talked about, Joe. Didn't lead with the jab, but connects with the hook. He's been hit so many times in that eye. Yep. He's so concerned. And George is just lighting him up now. George pushing the tempo here. Oh, there's that left hook. The thing is now, he's only seeing out of one eye, so his distance is going to be screwed up. He doesn't do well when you come forward and move your head in your You got it. You're in shape. Push way. it. Last one of your life, boss. This is the last one Man, of your they're life. trying to work on that eye, it. Joe. Just jumps into it. Extends this is, his reach. This is easily the most jabs I've ever seen anyone land in a mixed martial arts fight. No question about it. There, he tried it again. St. Pierre. This might be the best GSP we've seen. And down. And he's got his back. Koscheck trying to get up. One minute remains in the fight. This fight is over. That's it. Great show of class and respect after 25 minutes of battle inside the octagon. And the real question after this performance might be now what? Yeah. What's next? Who's going to challenge this guy? I mean, who out of all the 170 pounders truly stands out? And that is the story of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps the most jab-heavy performance. And still, the undisputed UFC 
Congratulations, my, my hat is up to him because he came here in Montreal in hostile territory to fight me. So I think he deserves a little bit of, uh, of props, everyone. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, George St.